like that attitude. So, thank you for being here tonight. Um, as some of you may know, this is the 25th year of Dark Horse Comics. Um, it's a big year for us, obviously, for a lot of reasons. Uh, notably, here in the show, we've got a brand new booth. We've also got some brand new projects that we want to announce to you guys first here at the show tonight. So, what's going to happen here is I'm going to introduce our president and founder, Mike Richardson. He's going to talk for a bit. And then we're going to introduce some guests that we have who are tied to the three projects we're going to be announcing tonight. And then at the very end, we're going to drop this cover over here. And you guys will get your first look at the future of comics for fall 2011. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, president and founder of Dark Horse Comics, Mike Richardson. Okay, we're going to drop this uh, curtain at the very end of our talk. First of all, before I start, uh, one of our guests, Guillermo del Toro, can't be here. He was actually going to be here, he's directing a movie, and he hurt his back just before he was leaving. That's not an excuse, he really gonna, was going to be here. He's going to be down here over the weekend, so you might see him around here, but he cannot come. But he, we, do have, we do have his project, we've worked with Guillermo on Dark Horse projects before, if you've seen Hellboy or Hellboy 2. So we have a long relationship. Ten years ago, we started working with him on the first Hellboy movie. So Guillermo's a big fan of comics. I've been trying for many years to get him to do comics. And we're going to have his editor, Sierra Hahn, come out here for, up here for a minute and talk about Guillermo's new project. Sierra, could you come up here for just a second? Sierra is editing this project, and she's going to talk about it. Well, thanks for coming. It's amazing to see all these people here. Um, I'm working with Guillermo del Toro, and he wrote this gra this novel. Oh, can you guys hear? Okay, called The Strain, which Mike just talked about. Um, we're gonna do a series of comic books based on The Strain, then we're gonna do The Fall, and then the last book, which is called The Night Eternal. It's gonna be written by David Lapham, who um, is a great crime horror writer, an amazing man to work with. Um, he wrote Stray Bullets and a number of other books. And it's going to be illustrated by Mike Huddleston, who's been working with Vertigo Comics for several years, doing some stuff at Image. So we're really excited to have them as the creative team that are working alongside Guillermo, who's very involved with the book. Um, if you aren't familiar with The Strain, it, it is a vampire book, but Guillermo wanted vampires to be scary and to be monsters, and he definitely accomplished that. So. Hopefully tonight you will see some artwork based off of those scary vampire monsters. Um, yeah. So we're going to show at the end of this, we're going to show uh, something over here that will give you a hint of what uh, the books are going to be. And uh, just so you know, uh, Guillermo is a huge comic book fan, so again, we've been trying to get him to do a series for us for a long time, and this, is, this will be his first comic series. So, some of our other guests did show up, thank goodness, and uh, so we're going to introduce uh, another uh, uh, author of another series that's coming up that we're announcing tonight. We have uh, moved into some other areas to try and expand a comic book base and try and reach out to people who don't normally buy comics. Uh, recently, we did a project with Janet Ivanovich, who sold something like 125 million novels worldwide. And uh, we had Troublemaker, which we had a great success with. And so we now have another very talented writer who is, uh, has her own uh, career, and she's building a uh, rabid fan base. So we're going to bring her out in just a second and uh, have her talk about her book, PC Cast. I'm really excited to be teaming with Dark Horse because I grew up with boys, I was raised by a man, and when all the little girls were playing with Barbies, I was reading Swamp Thing and Thor, and my brother thought he was Thor, so, no, but that's a whole other story. But, um, and Superman, so I have loved comics since I've been a little girl, so it is a fabulous, fabulous honor to see my books and Zoe Redbird and The House of Night coming alive um, with Dark Horse's fabulous artists. So I'm really happy to be here, and I can't wait for you guys to see what's going to happen. Yay. Thanks, Casey. 
and my daughter and co-author is here too. Oh, right there. <laughs> Raise your hand. There she is. Yeah, Kristen's here. <laughs> She'll be on the panel with me tomorrow. Go. My daughter's here too. She's right over there somewhere. <laughs> um, thank you, PC. We have another guest coming up. Another. Uh, recently, we did a book with uh, the frontman for My Chemical Romance, Gerard Way, at uh, the Umbrella Academy, which was a tremendous success for us. So now we're moving to another uh, musical genius who is bringing his first comic book here. Has anyone he here ever heard of Audio Slave? Yeah. Maybe you've heard of Rage Against the Machine? So we have Tom Morello here to uh, talk about his new book. They seem to know who you are, Tom. Hello, my name's Tom Morello, uh, and I'm very psyched to have a book on Dark Horse. I was an avid comic book collector as a kid and as a teen, and I put down comics when I picked up the guitar, uh, and it was about... Uh, Which books did you uh, I was an avid collector of like the, the Marvel and DC standards, from Weird War Tales to the Avengers and things like that. I was, I maybe, I don't know if Dark Horse was in existence when I was, <laughs> not to date myself, but uh, um, I was a huge fan of comics then, and comics matured a great deal while I was away forging my rock career. It was about three years ago that I decided a story I wanted to tell, and I didn't want to be another, like, Hollywood jackass with a screenplay, and I didn't have enough time to uh, write, you know, the great American novel at 600 pages, so I uh, spoke with my friend uh, Gerard Way from My Chemical Romance, uh, and he, um, he introduced me to my new Dark Horse family. Uh, I wanted to tell a story that was, uh, had the epic arc of some of my favorite, uh, favorite stories, of whether it's The Lord of the Rings or Star Wars or Dune or The Stand, but was infused with a class consciousness. And I wanted to make a book that was exciting and as intelligent as some of the music that I've been involved in. Um, it's, a, it's a story that uh, the, the lead character, the name of the book is Orchid, and the main character is a 16-year-old street prostitute who becomes the Spartacus of whores. And uh, I'm very, very excited about it, and uh, couldn't really be more excited about it. Tomorrow I'm actually going to be doing a Q&A and playing at the Trickster event, which is across from the Marriott, an acoustic set of Night Watchman songs. So if you're on and want to come to see that. But thank you very much, Dark Horse family. Thank you all for showing up, and we're going to do some sort of sign. Thank you, Tom. So we are going to unveil some artwork from these three series right here. You can all see it as they pull the curtains down. So you back there can't see what's over there, and you over there can't see what's over there, so you have to switch places. Well, everybody switch. 